Hi everybody, it's Marna. And hey, I wanted to come to you tonight with a really great idea um, that I think your family's gonna love. It's nothing new, it's nothing like, wow, what an inventive recipe Marna's sharing. But it's the method that we're gonna use that's gonna knock your socks off. And uh, the price of this dinner that I'm gonna share with you is so inexpensive. Um, and I'm going to give a shout out to Annalie Heinen, an executive director with Pampered Chef. She just recently showed this recipe on Facebook and it really gave me the idea that I wanted to share it with you too. So look, how many of you need to get a dinner ready and it has to be quick and maybe you've got kids that are somewhat picky eaters. I remember back to the days when my kids were young, shout out to Amy and Allison and Aaron who are now all in their 30s, but there was a time when those kids basically ate potatoes, chicken, corn, and maybe spaghetti, Kraft macaroni and cheese. And we kind of rotated through some of those things. I also know that there were lots of times when I really didn't have a big budget to get dinner on the table. And you might know somebody like that, or maybe you're just thinking, hey, I would love an inexpensive meal. So what are we gonna make? We're gonna make a whole roasted chicken. So now you're thinking, I don't even wanna go there. How many of you go to the store and you see that chicken, that whole chicken in the package and you just go, no, let me just take this boneless chicken breast or let me just choose these thighs or whatever. Well, a whole chicken, number one, has fabulous flavor. So good because it's got the bone in it. Number two, dirt cheap. Um, I bought a whole entire chicken um, and this was about five pounds. Actually, friends, it was six pounds. Six pounds of chicken at 79 cents a pound, the whole thing is less than five bucks. So if you wanna feed your family for $10, half is gonna be in this chicken. So let's review. It's Marna, I'm in my Pampered Chef kitchen. I'm so glad you joined me. And we're gonna be cooking up a meal for four for about $10, probably even less than 10. So we're gonna start out with this whole chicken. So I've already taken it out of the package and washed it. now. I will tell you that there is some stuff inside the chicken carcass. You want to get rid of it. Um, there is going to be a bag with some chicken parts that, you know, I just throw those away. Some people want to use them. They'll put them underneath the chicken. Uh, there's the neck and the gizzards and the liver. Um, actually, the liver is delish, but I pitched it today. Um, and then you want to take some water and kind of clean out that inside. You kind of have to scrape out some of that stuff. It's a little gross, but it's going to be worth it. Um, I do know that a relative in my family, who shall remain unnamed, when I was little I remember the story that a relative of ours did Thanksgiving dinner and did not clean the inside of the turkey and there was the bag and the neck and all of that in the turkey as they were eating it, but um, long, long, long ago. All right, so we've got chicken. Now you want to season it up and we're going to roast this open. We're going to do it in a rock crack. Now, if you want dinner done in 35 or 40 minutes, we can't do this in the oven, right? We're going to do it in the microwave. And you will not believe it, but when I come back later on after we get this done and show you the chicken is brown, the skin is glorious, the chicken is moist, there's so much juice. So you'll want to choose whatever seasonings you want. I'm going to go ahead and use bell pepper herb, which is a Pampered Chef seasoning. And I'm going to put salt and pepper on, of course, because there's nothing I cook without salt and pepper, it seems like. So do that pretty heavily. I chose also some garlic and herb. Put some of that on. Might as well use that up. All right. And then a good sprinkling of pepper and a little salt. So how long does this take? On average, about a four to five, five and a half pound bird should take about 35 minutes. This is all you have to do, kids, is we're gonna throw this in the, in the microwave. So I'm gonna do that, we're gonna move on to our side dishes. Okay, 35 minutes. All right, okay, well that was pretty easy, would you agree? All right, so we're gonna use some potatoes. So potatoes um, are one thing, that cost-wise are very inexpensive, right? Oops, man down. Um, you can, you know, they last a long time if you store them in a nice ventilated area. Um, so, but potatoes are a little bit on the heavy carb side. So I wanna show you what I found um, at the store today. This is called, these are from Green Giant and they're called Carb Smart Potatoes. 
Farmers are getting pretty creative today. They have found a way to reduce the carb count in these potatoes because I compared them to regular Idaho potatoes and they are lower in carbs than the others. Um, this is still not like a great thing that I would eat on an everyday basis, but it's gonna be a treat for today to have some potatoes. So I've just taken four of them and washed them up. You always wanna wash them, of course, before you use them. But what caught me on this packaging, um, and they're smart about this, they know that people are watching carbs. They said on the package that these potatoes, one serving, have 55% less carbs than pasta or rice. Well, that's a good thing, you know, because um, I like those things too, but this would be a better pick. They also said that that one potato would have 30% less carbs than a banana. So, you know, poor potatoes kind of get a bad rap, but if you're willing to eat a banana, that's got way more carbs and sugar than this little potato. So how are we gonna make potatoes? You know, I'm always about quick and easy. So how about making them in the microwave, in a rock crock, so I use my large rock crock, my Dutch oven for the chicken. We're gonna use the everyday size for the potatoes. And I use a rock crock pretty much every day. Whether I'm making a quick you know, meal for Jim and I or whether I'm making something at a party, rock crocks get used every day. We're gonna take this product. This is called a veggie wedger. You know, it doesn't always get a whole lot of attention, but I wanna show you how great this product is. It really does work slick. We're gonna take our chef's knife, we're gonna just cut the potatoes in half. So you always wanna have a flat surface when you use this veggie wedger. So other things you can do with this, you can wedge you know, onions with it, you can wedge uh, apples with it, you can do cucumbers with it, uh, citrus fruit. So let's take the potato, take the half, and we're just gonna set it down with the cut side down, and you just go like this, and look, it's all, all wedged up for me. So we just take, and we're gonna do all these potatoes. Now, I'm sure the usual way, I don't know why I'm not dumping them right here. I'm sure the usual way you would make a smashed potato, we're gonna make like a, a garlic smashed potato. Um, but to keep the calories down on it, we're not gonna put butter in it, we're not gonna put sour cream in it. We're gonna, after they're cooked, we're gonna mash them up and we're gonna put in a little bit of, I'm gonna use almond milk, but you can certainly use uh, dairy milk if you want. And the secret ingredient is a little bit of Dijon mustard. Oh my gosh, we made these at a meeting. They're absolutely delicious. They need nothing on them. You don't have to put gravy on them or anything. You will be eating these up like crazy. The other thing that you'll find interesting, I think, is that we're not gonna put any water to cook the potatoes. That's always the pain, you know, you put potatoes on the stove top to cook, and they, I hate to make that noise, sorry about that. They boil over, right, or the water boils away. Well, basically, when you put something in water like that, you know, you're boiling away a lot of the nutrients. So, the trick is, we're gonna put these potatoes in the microwave, in the rock crock, with nothing. No milk, no water, no nothing and they will cook, and then when they come out, we'll mash them up and I'll show you how that's done. So, one more potato here. Now, people always ask me, how long does stuff take to cook? You know, I don't time a darn thing, ever. My smarty answer would be, till it's done. But on average, uh, depending on your microwave, this will probably take 12 to 14 minutes to cook the potatoes. Now, if you want them to cook faster, all you have to do is take and cut these potato wedges down. Because, you know, microwave cooking and most cooking depends on the size of the food. So, if you want to speed up the process, and especially since we're not going to be using any water in here, so it's not going to matter what size they are, you're not washing away any more of the nutrients. Sometimes I like to keep foods a little bit more whole if I'm going to be putting them in water and boiling them, but these are not. So, those, as soon as my chicken is done, these will go in. And it'll time out perfectly because when you bring your chicken out, you're going to want to let it rest for 10 minutes. And you know what that means. You let it sit on the counter and let the juices um, redistribute in the chicken. Because if you cut it too soon, you know what's going to happen is it's, you're going to cut it and all those yummy juices will run out. So we'll put that aside. Now, speaking of the juices that are going to come out from that chicken, um, when it's done, we'll lift that bird out and there will be all kinds of juice that you can do a couple of things with. Okay, if I had my kids home with me, um, I would be taking those juices and putting a box of stovetop stuffing in there. Yes, I know, you're going, what? 
take a box of stovetop st stove stuffing, mix it in to those juices that are left, you put a little bit of butter, you throw it back in the microwave for like three minutes, and you've got stuffing to eat with this chicken. It's absolutely incredible, so delicious. I'm not gonna be doing that today because that really would be overkill for me today. So, um, the other thing that you'll be able to do with the juices, if you'd rather, is make gravy. So you'll have a lot of pan juices, and what's so fabulous about this rock rock is that you can make the gravy right in that pan, right on the stove top. I'm gonna to take a pan from the microwave and put it on the stove? Yes, that's what a rock crack can do for you. All right, so we've got some potatoes that are worth all of about a buck, if that. I mean, even at the, these Carb Smarts were a little bit more expensive. If you bought a regular bag of Idaho, 10 pounds of Idaho potatoes a lot of times are $2.99. So we might have a dollar at the very most in potatoes. So now we're up to about uh, $6 for our meal so far. Pretty good deal, wouldn't you agree? So I'm gonna make a side dish that I really enjoy. Probably if you have young kids, this is not gonna be their fave. But we're gonna make uh, cucumbers the way my grandma used to make them in a little bit of Miracle Whip, a little bit of vinegar, sugar, salt and pepper. Um, I won't use uh, sugar, I'll use a sugar substitute as you know, but um, we used, I used to eat these like crazy. To me, this kind of thing tastes like candy. I love anything with vinegar and sugar and that kind of thing. So we'll take a cucumber, and I like it peeled. I mean, truly you can, of course, eat the skin on a cucumber, but it's been, you know, waxed a little bit. So I don't always uh, enjoy that. So, oh, the cucumber was 50 cents. 50 cents. So when people tell me, oh, I can't cook healthily, it's too expensive, oh my gosh, um, you know, it's cheaper for me to go through the drive through this really isn't true, girls. When you get a few products in your hands that make cooking so easy, and you get a few tricks up your sleeve that make it so fast, um, and you learn a few things about what's healthy or what's a good choice, um, you really, really do not have to spend a whole bunch. I know that um, I don't. So, simple slicer, and I don't always show this anymore uh, since I got my quick slice, but the simple slicer is pretty fabulous because I can make a really thin or a thicker slice with this. So, I'm gonna slice the cucumber on setting number two, and what I love about this is this, this will hang right on the bowl, and you can slice right into the bowl. All right, so you notice that I'm not looking up I'm watching what I'm doing because um, this slicer isn't uh, particular about what it slices, if you know what I mean. It'll slice a cucumber or it'll slice whatever you give it, like a fingertip. So let me show you now. What you're always going to do is use this food holder. Please, please use the food holder when your food gets down small like this. So here's an easy way to do it. I just take these little pieces, that the little stubs, and I just put all three of them in here at once. Just pack that food holder with the three pieces, put this on, and now I can slice all the way to the bottom of those cucumber pieces without any fear that I'm going to be making finger food tonight. Look, nothing. That's what's great. A lot of slicers always leave a piece at the end. So. I've got a bowl full of cucumbers, yum yum. And I like onion in here. Um, and because this is the way I grew up with it. So I think I'm gonna do what I did with the cucumber. I'm gonna take the onion and I'm gonna cut it in half. You always, it's just always easier to have a wider uh, piece, you know, thicker, wider piece. I don't know if you'd call it thicker, but a flat piece at the bottom. So you have never sliced onions faster than when you use this. So just put the other one in, and away we go. So the slicer, the simple slicer can be used for mushrooms. You can use it to slice cucumbers, zucchini, carrots. Look, magic, it's all gone. This is all dishwasher safe too. Um, and it's really very reasonable. You know, there's mandolins on the market that sell for 70, 80, 100 dollars. I think this is 33 dollars. Don't, if you don't have the slicer, really consider getting it. So I want to just break those onions up a little bit. I have to tell you, the onions are my, are Jim's favorite part. He loves onions. 
of all kinds, cooked onions, raw onions, onions on burgers. Um, if I, we go to a restaurant, there's onions on the salad and I think they're too many. You know, I'm thinking, oh, I don't want these. He'll eat his, plus he'll snag mine for me, which I always appreciate. So what you'll do to make the, um, this recipe is we're gonna put some mayonnaise or Miracle Whip and the Miracle Whip has a little bit more carb count uh, than mayo, but I also like the taste of it because it's got a little bit of uh, vinegar in it. But um, I like to use Miracle Whip light. It just, um, it's a little bit, uh, well actually it's way lower on calories. Actually, um, Miracle Whip light has 20 calories in it and mayonnaise has 100 calories per tablespoon. Tablespoon? Yes. So it makes sense to use the Miracle Whip light. All right, so we're gonna put salt and pepper, of course. Grinder that grinder set. Now, get some vinegar out. Hang on. Talk among yourselves. Be right there. For this, I like apple cider vinegar. This is the unfiltered type, and it's got the mother in it. What does that mean? I don't know. I think there's, you know, like, I think something starts the, the uh, fermentation process, and I think the mother is kind of what starts it, and then they leave it in this. So theoretically, this unfiltered is a little bit better for you. Um, and then this is just my container of Splenda. So usually, if I were doing this the right way, I would mix the vinegar and the Splenda and the Miracle Whip separately and then put it in here. I'll do that, I'll get a bowl. Let me show you. I'll take a batter bowl. So, we're gonna measure this real carefully. Not. We're gonna take a glop of Miracle Whip. I would say, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup. Maybe a third cup. And then, usually I put about equal amounts of Splenda and vinegar. So one tablespoon and a little bit more. And then we'll take Splenda. Tablespoon, there we go, okay good. And then I'll taste it and see how it, how it goes. But we mix this up. Now, some people do this recipe without the mayo or the miracle. They just do oil and vinegar and their sugar. This is also the exact same thing that most people put in coleslaw. I bought some cabbage mix at the store today, so later on this week I'm either going to make Asian coleslaw, maybe I'll show you how to make that. That is a killer recipe. Um, but anyway, that's it. We'll mix that in with the cucumbers. Our side dish is done. Our potatoes are ready to go in the microwave when that's free. And our chicken has 20 more minutes yet to go and chicken's going to be done. So. If you need more ideas on what to feed your family, well, first of all, stay tuned here. Second of all, you can go out to Pampered Chef's website. My website in particular, pamperedchef.biz forward slash Marta Ross, and search for recipe. Hey, do you have an ingredient you want to use up? We have a fabulous search function that you can put in an ingredient. Let's say you put in cucumbers. It'll tell you recipes of what to use those cucumbers up in. Um, or invite me over to your house. Let's do a quick party in February, March, or April. I've always got something new cooking. I'd love to show you and your fan, family and friends something new for dinner. Um, if you want a dessert party, I'm all about it because I can taste desserts at your house. I would love it. So um, remember to share the video. That way it'll be on your feed and your friends will see it too. Remember, I'm Marta with The Pampered Chef. I always love cooking with you guys. I am so glad that you stopped by. This recipe is gonna take a little bit of time, so stay tuned. I'll be back and I'll be showing you live how the chicken turns out and we'll do those potatoes. I'll show you how to mash them up, get the uh, other ingredients in, and we'll have our dinner ready in probably about 25 minutes. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying this Tuesday night. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, don't forget, run to the store, get a card, and get a box of candy or something for your loved one. They will sure appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.